Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Charm Living. My name is Desiree and today I'm going to be showing you a nail review for Press On Nails. This is a new brand to me. I don't know how long they've been out and they are Clutch Nails and they are supposed to be 24 reusable round nails. They stay, you slay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ones that I got. These are called As If. On their website, it says, think you can find a cuter set of nails? As If. Channel your inner Cher Horowitz and be the most stylist girl you know with these perfectly pink nails. Make this set your own by adding in the accent nails as much or as little as you want. Now, I had to do some research because I did not know who Cher Horowitz was, but she is from the movie Clueless. Here it says on the back side, press on nails that last. You know it. The clutch difference. Long lasting and durable, reusable up to five times for short wear, natural cuticle lines, fits all hand sizes and can be shortened with a regular clipper. So these nails, which are the as if color, they are on the short side. So they have short, medium, and long. It comes with glue and a nail file. I found it at Target. They had a few different colors on the Target app that was in stock at my Target. I didn't really care for any of the colors except for this one. So I'm sure there's other colors as well. They just didn't have it at my target specifically, but this is the one that I like best from the options that they had. Their website says that you can either wear it for one to two weeks full on, or it can be reusable up to five-ish times. That's if you wear it pretty much for like a day or two days. If you wanna remove it, you would remove it, and you would still be able to use them later on. So you can get an idea to see what the nails look like. So here you have the accent nail, which kind of has that kind of gold and blues and whites kind of going on. So I'm gonna take them all out and they start off at zero and they work their way up. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna be at the very top up here. I don't know if you can see that in the lighting, maybe right up here. I find the spread slightly strange because these five nails do not have the opposite to it. So this one doesn't have the accent, this one doesn't have the accent, this one doesn't have the accent, but these two do not have the main color. So I find that kind of strange that they have that as well as these three right here only have one of each, whereas these two have the most. Probably why they do that is because these are the most used colors, the one that have both on it, or the ones that fit most for everybody. So now I just kind of have to match and see which ones will look best for my fingers. You wanna make sure that the number, which is at the bottom here, is towards the bottom of your nail. So the area that does not have the number goes to where your cuticle is. So this one's a little too large, so we're not gonna use that one. So that means these are gonna disappear. I think this number is gonna work best for my thumb. That means Number three is going to be for my thumb. So let's put these up here. So we're gonna work outwards. Number four is not gonna fit on my, this one fits a little bit better for my index fingers, which is number seven. So it's gonna be one index finger here. So it looks like pinky is gonna end up being these accent nails, but now we'd have to figure out the ring finger because the ring finger option does not quite fit, oops, does not quite fit on my nails as I would like it to. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping this all over the place. So we're gonna do a little switcheroo. It looks like number six is going to be my middle finger instead of number five. Now that we've chosen our nails, we are going to take the file and we're going to kind of roughly work on our nails. I'm not a fan of it, but it is what it is. And then we're gonna take the glue that it comes with. So we're gonna put it on the cuticle end over here. And you also wanna drop it onto your real nail. And then we have to hold it on for a few seconds. I found that there was a lot of difficulty trying to find like my index finger and my ring finger. The glue seems very much like crazy glue. And if you know crazy glue, crazy glue sticks like crazy, like legit crazy. It doesn't budge. If you notice on my fingers, you see some glue still kind of on it. And it's because it got stuck and I had to like 
peel my fingers away from the skin. Also, you will notice on this thumb, there is some texture now because there is some glue that was on there. You have to make sure that the placement of the nail is precise because you still see that there's a lot of my regular nail that's sticking out because it was not placed properly. For me, when I do the nail art, every nail is gonna be the same except for the ring finger, which will have the accent. So for me, not having the accent on my ring finger kind of feels weird and out of place because I am not one to put nail art on two of my fingers like this. Like, I don't know, I just feel it's weird to me. Everyone's nail beds are a different size, so finding that perfect fit, you might end up having a different style instead. Like you might have like your middle finger is the one that has it, or your thumb is the one that has it, or maybe like three of your nails will have the nail art, whereas the rest of the nails will have the, the base color. My ring finger, this one over here is bending, whereas this one is not. So I think the material is thinner on this one than this one is. Hello and welcome back to another day. Now before I do remove these nails, I do want to talk about uh, my experience with them for the last few days, just so you can get an idea of just kind of what's been going on with them. I am not a fan of necessarily having glue on my nails. Um, like I can feel like something is not natural about it. So it's not the length because I've had nails this long before, but I just feel like there's something different. I don't know if it's psychological, just knowing that I am wearing glue on my nails and I typically don't. Regardless though, I think that the color is beautiful. I do like the light pink that it has. My husband really did think the accent nail was cute. So I kind of made mention the other day how this one kind of looked a little thinner and the reason why it's a little thinner is because I put it on backwards. <laughs> so if you were to look at the nail, you will notice that it doesn't really have that natural progression from the cuticle to the tip. Whereas this one kind of has that natural progression that starts off thinner to thicker. Whereas this one kind of starts from thick to thin. And I realized that after the fact, when I looked at the bottom and I couldn't find the number, so I figured, oh, <laughs> I switched it around and that's why it looks a little strange. So you can kind of see that at the cuticle, it looks odd. Doesn't look like a natural progression. And this is what they kind of look like on the flip side. So I'm going to try to remove them. I'll let you know how the process went for me doing it um, and kind of give my thoughts on that. I know I said I would be removing my nails and I've tried and they are still on. How to remove. Never pull nails off. Instead, Soak nails in warm soapy water for 15 to 20 minutes or until nails start to loosen. At the cuticle line, carefully lift up an edge and apply your favorite cuticle oil under the clutch nail for fastest removal. I did that and they are still on. I literally took a bowl of warm soapy water, dipped my fingers in for 15 to 20 minutes, twice and nothing has budged. And even then, I applied some of my cuticle oil on there as well. I did it on all the nails. Oh, now it wants to lift up. Look at that. I am going to turn the camera off right now and I will come back when all of them are hopefully removed. <laughs> my nails are now back to normal in the sense of there's no longer any false nails on there. I wanna show you that my nails look like this because of the false nail that I was taking off. This side over here looks a little better only because the oil is on my nails because these nails were saturated in the oil just now. Both of them still look kind of messed up. On their website, they have a blog. And this was on May 17th, 2017. It says, here are five scenarios you should consider before trying out store-bought nails and why you should go clutch instead. You can easily remove them before the gym without having to worry about damage to your nails and pop them back on before you hit happy hour. I will have to disagree. This literally took me a long time to get anything done. And then they talk about reusability. They don't look very reusable to me. There didn't seem to be a lot of flexibility in the sense of which nail I wanted to choose to have the nail art. It was very kind of like, it's whatever your nail fits. If there's something available for it, great. If not, then 
too bad, you know? But I did feel that the nails were secure on my nail bed. I don't know if everyone has this difficult of a time as well, or maybe I did something wrong. The box clearly says to never pull nails off, which I wasn't pulling at them. I soaked them in warm soapy water for over 20 minutes. Like I said, it was like 40 minutes of how long I did it, 30 to 40 minutes instead. And it says until nails start to loosen, carefully lift up an edge and apply your favorite cuticle oil under the clutch nail for fastest removal. I did that and I still didn't get good results for it. I ended up using acetone as well. I still didn't really get as good results for it either. It just kind of seemed like the more you fidgeted with it, the more it started popping up which ended up resulting in my nails either getting peeled or glue getting left behind. So for me, that's just how the removal process was. As far as the actual like reusing of the nails, don't look that great to be honest. Some of them survived, some of them didn't. So what I recommend clutch nails, it's a little hard to say because they do look nice. They are affordable in that sense. They do have that cute aspect to them that they do stick on the nails and they do stay firm on the nails but the removal process is just a pain for me so i don't know if i can necessarily recommend them because removing them is part of the whole experience of using these nails and if you're trying to market it as it's as simple as popping it on and popping it off it's not that simple at all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also the bell notification so that you know when a new video comes out. Also, please make sure to leave any comments down below or like it just to show me that you do enjoy these type of videos and I will see you again soon.